Hey guys, welcome to Power Up. I'm Alex Aspe, and today I'm going to do a full review of the Motorola G6, an economy phone that could be an alternative to some of the smartphones that dominate the market. The Moto G6 looks like some of the most expensive phones in the market, but only for a third of the price. The sixth model in the Series G runs on Android, and for a price around $250, it's here to show us that an affordable phone can be good too. In the G family, the Moto 6 is the handsome one. It comes with a sleek design that it's much better than the ones that came before it. The screen is 5.7 inches, a little smaller than the screens on the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the iPhone 8, which are 5.8 inches. The design is modern with a glossy finish made of glass. The back of the phone is smooth and curved but still retains a good grip. The display is made of Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and it's protected by a water repellent coating. And now, what is most important for me, the camera. The G6 comes with a double camera on the back, similar to what Apple has done in recent iPhones, but it must be noted that the quality of the photos isn't the same. The cameras are 12 and 5 megapixels, which doesn't sound like a bad combo, but in practice, they underperform. The Moto G6 runs on Android 8.0 Oreo and the Android experience on the phone is pretty clean and fast. Daily apps run fast and they never froze during my time with the Moto G6. The camera is slow. It takes time to load and when you want to focus, it takes some time as well. Regarding the quality of the photos, the G6 takes good pictures if you have enough light in favorable conditions. But just like the majority of budget phones, the quality of photos suffer as the light dims. When I do a video, I notice the same problems. But something that I really like is the battery life in this phone. It's very energy efficient, so that's a good one for the G6. The Moto G6 should be able to survive a full day of normal use, complete with social media stalking, texting, photographing, and more. The turbo power cable is just the cherry on top because when you connect your phone only for 30 minutes, you get three hours of use. This phone delivers a superb mobile experience for the price. It's a $250 smartphone that compares fairly with the big boys like Samsung S9 and iPhone 8. Well, that's it for the Moto G6 and Power Up. I'm Alex Aspe, and remember that you can tune in every Tuesday and see us in Telemundo's morning show, Un Nuevo Día.